welcome back or to my channel. I'm Nicole and I am going to be doing a fun little planner video for you guys today. I've decided to kind of dive right back into my old planners because if you don't know, I absolutely love planners and I switch it up every year um, just because I like the variations and I find different styles suit me at different times. Um, Today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite planners that I've used. I really love their product and it's the Erin Condren planners. So I used this one. This was my Erin Condren planner. Very cute, very chic. Um, what year was this from? Unclear. Give me a second. So this planner was from 2018 to 2019. So I'm not sure if it's changed a lot since then, but this, I got it in the vert, the um, horizontal planning style because I like horizontal better than the vertical. Um, so I'll just do a little flip through of each page. I actually used this for when I studied abroad, so it was kind of a cute little memory book of everything I did when I was abroad. Um, and yeah, I love this planner because of the way it's laid out. It's very free and open. You can do a lot of different things in it. Um, so whatever you like, you like colors, you can make it really colorful. If you like stickers, you can utilize that or you can make it very simple. Um, I love the Erin Condren brand just because one, the covers are also very cute. They're, um, they have so many different options that you can choose from. So again, whatever your style is, you can kind of customize it to that. And then I also customized the front with my name. So it was very nice to have this around and everyone knew that this is my planner at school. Um, and again, I love this. The paper quality is impeccable. Um, I used mild liners on it, Sharpies on it. I don't know, every sort of pen you can think of and it didn't bleed at all, which is a huge perk for planners like myself. I also own a bunch of other Erin Condren, uh, not planners, other of their line of stationery. I have these notebooks that I purchased also for school. Um, and I also customize that, so this has a lot of my, you know, my bio notes in it. So I do, I take really detailed notes, and I just love that I could do anything, and it, it literally didn't bleed. Like, there's just no evidence of bleeding at all, which is very helpful when you have to do a lot of graphs and like diagrams that require 500 different colors. You know, stem life. Love it. Um, and then there's the mini version that I use for like chemistry notes, um, which in addition to talking about the Erin Condren planners, I'm also going to deep dive back and look at other planners that I've had um, in a couple other videos. So hopefully those will be up soon. Um, I'm going to be talking about just like a simple gallery leather um, notebook. So journal, no, planner. I don't know what what is wrong with me anyways this was another style of planning that I use so I'll talk about that in another video and then also I want to talk about my day designer which also I love and I have another uh, a, like a plan with me video about that which I will link up where whichever side um that will be linked and you can check that out later so here's a flip through of, ooh, okay. So I use their, um, their dry erase markers and that, if I left it on for too long, it would stain it and it just kind of ruined it. So I, that's not the best part of this, but um, anyways, usually you get this really nice vellum, thick vellum paper front. And then there's my name. You have some beautiful graphics 
and I didn't use this page just because I didn't really think about using it. That's something that I didn't think ahead about. I just used the other pages in here. So there's some of my calculus homework that I had back, back in the day. Monthly pages. Um, and so there's no bleed in any of this. Like, see, there's just literally nothing. I use Sharpie on this page as well right here, which we love that. Um, these are some of the stickers that first prototypes of the stickers I designed. Um, and then I, this is when I went abroad to DIS Stockholm. If you want to hear more about that, let me know. I really loved that program and so I kind of wanted this again to be like kind of a, a journal of sorts because I have all my schedules in here so it kind of reminds me of what I did when and it's like a pretty little visual of that. This was when I went to London with the program. So yeah, I would really recommend using this one if you're someone who likes freeform um, planning. It's great for students. You can put all of your assignments like I did them. For, I color coded per class and the boxes are big enough that you can put in all of your appointments as well. So it's great for honestly anyone who needs to plan. And these, oh, that's cute. These note pages are also very, very fun just because there's so much space to write. And so I'll put notes there as well. Another great thing about Erin Contran planners is that they have a lot of like snap in accessories. So this is one of them the ruler, which is very helpful when you want to do some like lines in your. In your planner um, but at the end of the planner you have the line pages which I didn't use I never really know how to use it some really cute coloring pages for if you're kind of stressed there's a contacts page which I won't show because personal information oh so many stickers. I'm going to take these out and reuse them now. Um, which I'm going to do that right now. And finally, there's this really cute folio at the back where I put kind of like my scrap papers and like receipts and things. And another dashboard that I bought separately. Um, it's a school tracker. And this was helpful for when I had, you know, long weeks of many midterms and different things so I can just use my dry erase marker and kind of put the top priorities, the assignments, things to remember on here. And then there's a backside to it too where the schedule of how I would do my study schedule and then things that I had to look forward to and then upcoming quizzes and things to think about for next week, which was very helpful when I was a, I believe, junior, yeah, my junior year in college, this was very helpful for me. So yeah, that concludes my little tour of my Erin Condren plan. Editing Nicole here, I realized that I didn't record anything to kind of introduce this next section, but I wanted to talk about my other products that I had from Erin Condren, so I'm going to talk about the notebooks that I bought from them and why I like them. Their notebooks are also really great to kind of invest in for classes just because the quality of the paper really is amazing. Um, and like, look, I use Muji pens, like gel pens and other midliners and other highlighters and kind of like thicker marker pens and the bleed is almost non-existent it's just such a great quality notebook that really lasts you for a long time the paper won't rip um the spiral won't 
get caught on things and it won't like kind of bend in a weird way like a lot of other notebooks I have kind of get destroyed by the end of the semester because of that um and I just love that these are so sturdy and it's really a great notebook for school and I'm sure it would be a great notebook for anything you want to do journaling if you want I know my mom uses hers for um, recipes so she uses a small one for recipes but yeah I would highly recommend I know since this like this stuff is a little old um they have come out with a bunch of different planners focus planners different um, styles and different layouts so you should go check them out i have a link in my bio for it's a referral code so if you want to support me by just shopping through my link i would love that um, but if not you can just go onto their website and check out their stuff but i'm a big fan of erin condren and i hope you enjoyed this kind of flip through informal chatting video um, and see you in the next one. Bye!